Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the WebRTC Sync element which I have presented in my blog post. The link is in the description. I am not going to go into great details uh, as you can read the documentation for that. Instead I'm simply going to show how the element reacts to issues with network conditions and I'm going to show the example web application that I've implemented to monitor some statistics. So, first, in this terminal tab, I'm going to start the example application. The implementation is very simple. We are simply decoding a video and we are serving it with WebRTC Sync. We are also accepting WebSocket connections and we are going to serve statistics over those WebSocket connections to, for instance, web clients. Right, so let me start the application. Nice. In this Firefox window, I'm going to connect to the stats server. The connection is established and we can see that there are no consumers at the, mom at the moment. In this window, I'm going to start a consumer and we can now see that the video uh, is being served at a fairly high quality. So back to the statistics client, we can click on the new consumer and we can check out the statistics plot for this particular consumer. Let's go over a few of the interesting statistics here. Uh, I suppose the main one would be the target bitrate, which at the moment is maxed out at uh, 8 megabits per second. Another interesting statistic is packet loss. At the moment, well, we are on, we are on my local network and there is no loss. Uh, it's a perfect network, basically. We can also see that the browser hasn't made any retransmission requests or any keyframe requests. Let's change that. So, in this terminal tab, I am going to introduce uh, some, well, I'm going to reduce the, the available bandwidth and we're going to see what happens. So, I'm going to reduce it to 3 megabits per second. Let's see what happens. Nice. So, as you can see, the consumer has experienced some, well, pretty bad playback for a short period of time. That's because we've introduced congestion in a very sudden manner. Uh, but it has now resumed playback at a reasonable uh, quality and that's because we have re decreased the, the target bitrate and we can see that the target bitrate is now oscillating uh, roughly inside the congestion window so let's keep it playing for a second okay so I'm now going to remove the constraint on the bandwidth and we should see the target bitrate uh, eventually pick back up and the quality should improve for the consumer. Right, so the quality has uh, reached back 8 megabits per second and we can see that it's uh, fairly nice in the in the consumer window. So that's one aspect of uh, bad network conditions. Another aspect is packet loss. And we're going to try and introduce some packet loss now. So the interesting statistic that uh, you can monitor here is retransmission requests. At the moment, uh, we are static at 84 retransmission requests. As soon as I introduce packet loss, we should see this uh, climbing back up.
nice. So as you can see, uh, there are definitely a, uh, many retransmission requests, but as we are on the local network, the round trip time is uh, so negligible that all the retransmission requests are honor honored immediately, and the packet loss is really not noticeable for the consumer. Um, yeah, in real life situations, uh, retransmission requests are not always going to be honored and forward error correction will come into play a bit more. I'm not going to demonstrate this uh, in this video, but feel free to play around with the element on your end and report any issues you may find. Thanks for watching!